Hi girls, welcome back to my channel. So I've got my wantable unboxing for you guys for the month of October. And I'm going to start with um, the lingerie intimate box. And I was not I was not thrilled with this month's box. So I am I think I am going to return this box as long as I'm in the return time frame. But I just I don't know. I guess I just wasn't wasn't that impressed with the selections or anything like that. Uh, the first one was a shapewear by Icy Hot Lingerie. And let's just untangle it here. So it looks like this. And it's just kind of like a bodysuit with um, kind of like a, um, uh, whatchamacallit, um, clasp. Like, it looks like a bra clasp. And, um, yeah, I just... I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I've never worn shapewear and I thought maybe it would be okay to give it a try every now and then or just to try it out. But I think, um, it's just something that I'm not, not really interested in. So I am going to take the shapewear off my, um, profile. Next product is, these are tights by the brand Mucklux. Looks like this. And I'm just, I guess I'm not a fan of like the prints. It is super, super soft. Um, it is 80% poly polyester, 70% nylon, 3% spandex. It is really, really soft. And if it was in the color black, I probably would have given it a try. But um, it's just, it's not, definitely not a color or design that I would try. So I just was not too impressed with that. And then... <laughs> This I was 100% just not impressed with. These are socks. Uh, who would wear a design like this? I mean, I, I, it's fall. It's definitely very fallish. But I would, this is, I put down like, that I liked um, kind of probably like bright or cool colors, that kind of stuff, or designs. But this is just... Somebody obviously likes this print and they will love it, but for me, it's it's not a print for me. And then the last product, now I did like these. Um, these this was just like a regular thong, um, and it's really really pretty. But honestly, I, I can't keep the thong and then return the rest of it because the value of the box um, has to justify what you're returning and what you're keeping. And I think the thong is. Let's see here. The thong is uh, 18 yeah, $18, and my box was $38, I believe, $38, $40, something around there. Um, so I, I would not pay $18 for that thong. It's by the brand Real Underwear, and that brand has been in um, the Wantable boxes before, and I do like the brand, um, and I do want to try other, you know, products by Real Underwear. Um, but I did get, I think it was in last month, I did get a bralette from Real Underwear and it was like a size large or extra large and it, it was not that size. It was like technically a small. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm just, I'm just not loving this month's box for the, um, intimate and shapewear and all that fun stuff. It's just not a box for me. So on to the makeup. Show you guys what I got. And I guess with the makeup this month, I guess I wasn't um, super impressed either. I just, I don't know what it was about the boxes this month. I just was not, I, was, I wasn't too happy. Um, first product is by Three Custom Color Specialists. It is a lip liner in the color Salmon. And where is it? Is it in here? Oh, okay. It's, it's hiding in there. Um, so it's just a basic lip liner. And I'll just show you guys a swatch. So it looks like that. And it isn't a super creamy consistency, so I don't like that. I, I probably won't use this. But I won't return this box because there are some things in here that I definitely do like. Um, this is a Tarina Tarantino Eye City Glitter Liner in the color Violet Storm. And this is really pretty, but I did find that when I tested it out, it was um, kind of just, it didn't go on very, I'll show you the packaging, it's really pretty. But when I tried it on, it's just, 
I'll see if I can show you guys here. I don't know if you guys can see. So it kind of puts a lot of product here and then it fades out to like nothing. Um, it just seems like a very, um, like the consistency is not very smooth or it just doesn't stay the same throughout. And then a brush by Jerry G. Looks like this. And this is just a, um, like a regular contour type brush. And it is super, super smooth. That's what I do like about it. Um, and then a eyeshadow by the brand Eddie Funkhauser. I've never heard of that product before or that brand. And it is in the color Ultimate Smoky Eye. Let's show you the colors. I'll just swatch them real quick for you guys. I do have some other swatches on my hand. So hopefully they are not going to interfere. And the thing about this palette, it is very smooth. I would honestly say um, the consistency of um, these eyeshadows are really close to Lorac. Okay, so you got the colors there. And you've got pretty much, I would say, like two mattes, kind of like the tannish color, um, which is right here. I don't know if you're going to see it that well. But kind of like a matte and then a matte there. And then you've got your shimmers there. So yeah, that is what I got in my Wantable makeup. I do like what I got in my Wantable makeup. Um, but not so much the intimate box. But it's hit and miss, of course, with subscription boxes. If you guys have any questions about anything or... Um, if you want to know anything regarding the services or anything like that, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. And thank you for bearing with me while I am testing out my new camera still. And um, tips and tricks, of course, put them in the you know comments below if you have um, any tips on using, using the Canon Rebel T5i. Um, that would be very much appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.